We've all been there. You take the wrong exit off the freeway, go out a different door than the one you came in. And before you know it, you're asking, where am I? Well, one place you definitely don't want to be caught asking that question is in the endless labyrinth of tunnels deep beneath the city of Paris. Paris, France, a city of stunning beauty and light. city lies a labyrinth of ancient tunnels and mass graves known as the catacombs. Dangerous and largely unmapped, the catacombs have been sealed off to the public for decades. It is down here that a video camera containing mysterious footage was discovered. This video camera was found deep in the catacombs. It was picked up by a catacomb explorer, some of the people who wandered down there. It was given to me, I looked at the tape. It's very bizarre. It's a point of view shot. The point of view shot is somebody just walking forwards with the camera. So basically, he's filming what he's seeing. Endless, very deep inside the catacombs. Other than the point of view shots are pictures of bones. Human bones. These were the poor Parisians who died over the last thousand years. In 1785, millions of bodies were exhumed from Paris cemeteries and dumped into the catacombs. This person occasionally stops and he photographs bones, often in the shape of an arrow. These arrows point in a direction. Occasionally, also, he stops to photograph roomfuls of bones, which means that he's very, very deep inside the catacombs. What happened to him? Nobody knows. Filmmaker Francis Friedland was determined to solve the mystery of the lost catacombs explorer. Normally, I'm a freelance uh, filmmaker. I shoot anything from, from fashion to documentaries. I mean, there are 400 miles of tunnels like this. So I brought the tape to a cataphile, an urban explorer. Cataphiles are strange people. They're people who have this passion for the catacombs. These people go down there to find new passages, new entries, new bones, new, new skeletons. Lazar is probably the person in Paris who knows the catacombs better than, than anyone. So according to Lazar, the person is not someone who, who knew his way around. My intention right now is to go down with uh, a still photographer, Vincent, a friend. I'm also going to take uh, an excellent sound man, Francis, to spend some time in the catacombs and try to solve the mystery. There are ways to match things up, to, to, to try to identify where this person was in the catacombs. At times you'll see there's signs, painted signs on the wall, which is not uncommon. People have been painting in the catacombs for centuries. So it is possible with these paintings uh, that we may be able to retrace an itinerary to some extent. After about 40 minutes of these point of view shots and these pictures of bones, uh, the person begins to walk faster and faster. Then he begins to run. We hear his breathing get louder and louder, uh, as though something was scaring him. He was, he's, he's frightened, he's frightened. Occasionally he stops, perhaps, to try to decide which way to run among all the many different corridors. 
He's running faster and faster and faster, deeper and deeper into the catacombs. And all of a sudden, he drops the camera. He just dropped, the camera just drops on the ground and keeps rolling. And you see his feet just run away. And he keeps rolling until it runs out of tape. Francis and I are going to now meet the director of the Catacombs Museum, who has nothing to do with the Catafiles, doesn't even want to know about the Catafiles, but he may have some information, and hopefully he can let us look at some maps of the Catacombs. In Paris, you have as many miles of tunnels underground as there are streets above ground. No one knows just how many passageways exist in the Catacombs, but we believe that they go down over 300 feet some are filled with water, and many tunnels have collapsed over the years. It's an enormous maze. We think there are as many as seven levels to it, spreading under the entire city. How do you get into the catacombs? Illegally, of course, uh, and the idea is to find uh, an entrance. The problem is that the authorities keep shutting them down. Apparently, Lazar has found a new way to get in. But it's way out uh, from the center of town. It's actually on the edge of the city, through the railroad tracks uh, for about a mile. And then there's a little hole in the ground. And we have to crawl through it. And uh, he could still be down there. Maybe he found his way out. Nobody knows. We'll, we'll try to solve the mystery if we can. Coming up next, trapped in the catacombs. I mean, imagine just running out of batteries on your flashlight. You're dead. You're dead. And you just look at this. You just you lose your flashlight. You're finished. Easy to get lost in the catacombs, to become disoriented, unable to find your way out. You might never be found. This anonymous videotape was discovered deep in the catacombs beneath the streets of Paris. This videographer, he could still be down there. Maybe he found his way out. Nobody knows. My intentions now, as, as I've seen the tape, is to go down there, to try to find out what happened. So we'll, we'll try to solve the mystery if we can. So the trick is to wash not only your feet, but your head. I have never been very deep into the catacombs before. Uh, very few people have. I don't know what to expect. Uh, already when you enter the catacombs, the first uh, few hundred yards are already scary. You have to crawl. Uh, you can bump your head. It's pitch, pitch black. As you're walking, you, you, you trip upon rocks. Uh, holes, you can, you, can, you can fall pretty deep. There are 400 miles of tunnels within the catacombs. Many of these passages lead to lower levels. Really, the tunnels are so incredibly vast, our chances of finding the lost man are probably very slim. But we do know by looking at his video that he got as far as these lower levels, where we are now. Is it okay? Anybody can get lost in here. Anyone can get lost in here. I mean, imagine just running out of batteries on your flashlight. You're dead. You're dead. It's true. I mean, just look at this. You just you lose your flashlight. What happens? We're finished. We're dead.
The explorers travel six miles into the catacombs with no sign of the lost man. This is my own opinion, but this is far too deep for an amateur to be messing around. He must have lost his way down some passage and died. After six hours, the group was exhausted and running low on batteries. Francis decided to abandon the search. There's a manhole up there, which is supposed to be open uh, to get out, but apparently it's locked or Lizzo is having a difficult time opening it up. We're going to have to backtrack and walk back the five or six miles that we are coming here. That would be hours and hours and hours. And let's hope our batteries don't, don't die on us in the meantime. So close, yet so far. Uh, we're 10 feet from freedom and we can't get out. It's about 60 feet from here to the street. Well, it looks like a manhole. There's no way to get out of it. You need to be mountain climbing to get out of it. I think I saw this on the tape. This, this figure with the arms outstretched, the legs outstretched. And then I think after this, the camera turns right. Corpses just walking on them. You can't see the bottom. I don't even know how 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 deep this is. You could be walking on thousands of corpses here. Look how deep this thing goes. It looks like the killing fields. According to Lazar, if you search through these catacombs, you could find the gate to hell. Perhaps this person found it by accident. This is the gate to hell. involved in this. Very tough. We didn't solve the mystery. I don't think anyone ever will. There's too many, too many, too many miles of, of like, tunnels in there. But we'll never understand what frightened whoever it was that dropped the state. 